Hi everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. I'm in our uh, heifer barn here today, just by our uh, far off dry cow pen here. I mentioned a couple times in a few videos in the past that I'd like to take out this uh, dried manure bedding. I put sand in there and that's what we're gonna work on today. We're gonna start with this line right here. This uh, We'll start with half of this head to head and then we'll see how it goes. I'd like to get both halves done at least so we don't get the sand and the manure bedding mixing in the middle. So Fugio is just cleaning this alley here so we don't have to walk through the manure and then we'll put some gates up right in the middle here so the cows can still come up to eat. And we did end up purchasing some uh, mats to put underneath the sand. We're going to try just one section of, uh, I don't know how many stalls, like 50-ish stalls I suppose it probably is. One half of this head to head here. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can tell a difference between the, where the mats are and where there's no mats. But I've mentioned a couple times in the past that I'd, I'd really like the sand better here, especially for the cows, just for utter health, give them some extra traction on the alleys. And I think even in the summertime, the, st the sand stays a lot cooler than the manure bedding does. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Hopefully uh, it's not too much work. We, we did rent a mini excavator to help clean these uh, stalls out because otherwise it'd be a lot of uh, hand shoveling. I think there's still going to be quite a bit of hand shoveling, but we'll see how it goes. We've got uh, five guys helping me here today, so hopefully it goes good.
got the that's cleaned out here so basically it's just a, a clay base on the bottom here you can see the cows on the other side are still laying on the manure bedding and then we have to go through and trench this four by four piece of treated lumber in because that's what the mats are mounted to and then we screw the mats into that and then there's one mat for each stall basically and they're zip tied together not sure how much the zip ties will do but they were they came with them so we'll put them on there trenching this uh, piece of lumber in is not uh, very fun so we're taking turns on that Here we've got one, we've got the first one mounted here, that first uh, 4x4 is in, and they're uh, going through and trenching.
just finished the other side of this head-to-head -head here. We'll see what the cows think. Maybe we'll see uh, a difference in the morning if there's more cows laying over here. If they lay down over here quicker than on the, uh, the other bedding. I don't know. We'll just uh, have to wait and see. Well, uh, my plan is to also do these stalls right here and then this uh, long single lane. But we'll probably give it a couple days, uh, see if we notice any difference. And it's uh, quite a bit of work, so we'll try to space it out over a few days. I rented that excavator for uh, a week or so. I, yeah, a week is what I rented it for. So we don't have to all get it done uh, right away. We'll, uh, we'll come check it out here later tonight or tomorrow morning and see, uh, see how it looks. Hey guys, it's the uh, next morning here. Just thought I'd uh, show you guys this uh, kind of far off dry cow quick where we put in the sand. So this is uh, the side that we're on here is the side that has the rubber mats underneath it. Out of uh, the section that we put sand on, every single stall has a cow in it besides one at the end is open and they're all laying down. And I'll show you guys the the head-to-head -head rows of free saws here where there's uh, the nerve solids in the stalls. Quite a few open stalls over here. I don't know if that tells us the whole story, but uh, to me that says a lot that uh, in the sand stalls every single stall besides one has a cow in it and there's not a single cow perching they're all laying down in their beds the cows that are in there and in the stalls where there's manure bedding there's quite a few cows that are or quite a few spots that are open and a couple cows that are uh, just perching in the stalls not laying down yet so that tells me that the cows are definitely preferring the sand stalls over the manure bedded stalls we'll have to watch it over the next few days and see if that uh, continues to happen that way but yeah in initially i guess it looks like uh, cows definitely are preferring the sand over the manure uh, bedding the manure solids i think the plan is uh probably uh, maybe tomorrow or saturday we'll go through and do the other head-to-head -head stalls take the manure bedding out and put this put sand in and then uh, maybe a few days later do the the single row on the north side of this pen here uh, yeah we'll just have to see how it goes they all look pretty comfortable to me There is uh, some sand kicked out, but that was to be expected with us initially filling the stalls. This side is uh, worse than the other side, but we, we got them a little bit fuller on the back side of the stalls on this side. It'll be interesting to see if we have less sand kicked out with the rubber mats versus uh, just sand in the beds. It was quite a bit of work putting those uh, rubber mats in, so hopefully uh, we learned something from it and it's not just a uh, wash. I think uh, that'll probably be it for this video. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you have any uh, comments or questions, I'd uh, love to hear them down below. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you in the next video.